Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. Today, I will review this Offer a Laser 1. There are three different laser modules for you to choose from, including the 1.6 watt, 5 watt short focus, and 5 watt long focus. I will test each of them with different engraving and cutting, and I will also test out the air assist nozzle for the 5 watt long focus module and see what kind of results I can get. This machine has a working area of 180 by 180 millimeters. It's quite small, but you can put this anywhere you want. So you can basically engrave this whole board or any larger surface with this engraver. I would like to thank Z Banks for sending me this machine to review. This machine is pre-assembled, so the only thing you need to do is install whatever laser module you ordered. I will start with the lowest power one, the 1 1.6 watt module. To install a laser module, you just need to fix it with the thumb screw, connect the power cable, and secure the ground fork to one of the screws. Use the metal cylinder that came with the machine to set the distance between the laser module and the material. We can now connect the power cable and the USB cable, which connects to our computer. I will put it directly on the board I'm going to work with. This 5mm thick plywood is from Home Depot. The size is 2 feet by 4 feet and it only cost $11. I also placed another half inch plywood underneath to make sure it won't damage the table. I will use the free laser gerbil to engrave a photo on this board. Connect to the COM port of the laser engraver and then load a file. It depends on what type of picture you engrave. If you want to engrave some high contrast black and white pictures, you can choose line to line tracing. But since I have engraved this picture a few times, personally, I think dithering looks nicer. Press next and we will type in our speed. I will use 1250 millimeters per minute as I tested it out with different feed rates and power. And so far, 1250 and 100% power work the best for this module. The size 95 by 83 millimeters is fine, as long as it's smaller than the workable area and our material. Press create, and the G-code will be generated in a few seconds. We can press this frame button to draw the frame on the material to confirm the exact position. It looks good, so we can start the job. As you can see, I have tried a few times with different feed rates. This 1250 and 100% came up with the best result. This 1.6 watt module is working quite well, and the only downside is the low power of the module won't allow the machine to run fast, so engraving this picture took around 28 minutes. Next, we will switch to a 5 watt short focus module. Disconnect the cable, remove the 1.6 watt module from the mount, and put on the 5 watt short focus module. This time, we will use the orange acrylic plate to set the focus. Then, engrave the same picture with a higher speed. As this laser is more powerful, we can push the speed faster to 3000 millimeters per minute. So engraving this picture took around 14 and a half minutes. It also looks pretty good. We will compare all three modules side by side later. For now, we will switch to the five watt long focus module, which is better for cutting. And we will see if it is also good at photo engraving. Repeat the same process and set the focus using the same metal cylinder that we used to set the 1.6 watt module. Then, we will engrave the same photo. This time, we will use a 3000 mm per minute feed rate and 80% power. You probably can't tell any difference, but let's compare all of them side by side. In the middle, we have the 1.6 watt at 1250 feed rate and 100% power. On the top left, we have the 5 watt short focus at 3000 feed rate and 100% power. At the bottom right, we have the 5 watt long focus at 3000 feed rate and 80% power. I found that using 100% power looked a bit too dark, so I reduced the power to 80%, or I can speed it up to 3500 or 4000 feed rate to let it engrave even faster. For photo engraving, all three modules are doing pretty good. The only difference is that the 1.6 watt module needs to run at a slower speed to get the same result. Next, I will switch to the Lightburn software to do some vector engraving as well as some cutting. First, I will engrave the Statue of Liberty with the 1.6 watt module. I will set the feed rate to 1000 and use 100% power. Let's do a preview and everything seems fine, so we can send out this job to the machine. As you can see, I've already tested out different speeds and power. I will only show you what I think are the best settings for this module and material. This 1.6 watt took around 5 minutes and 25 seconds to complete this job. 
After that, I will test out the 5 watt short focus module. I will speed it up to a 2750 feed rate using the same 100% power. The job was completed in 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Finally, let's try the 5 watt long focus module. This time, we will engrave with a 3000 feed rate and 100% power. The job was completed about 10 seconds faster in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. As you can see, the results are really similar, and the only difference is the speed. The 1.6 watt can deliver the same result, just at a slower speed. Next, we will do some cutting tests. I will mainly test on the 5 watt short and long focus modules, as the 1.6 watt is not designed for cutting. Let's start with the same 5mm plywood board with the short 5 watt focus module. First, I will use a 90mm per minute feed rate and 100% power. With one pass, it can cut out the board, but the edges are a little bit too dark. So, I will speed it up and try a 150 feed rate and 100% power. As you can see, it can almost cut through the board, but it's not as clean as it was when using 90mm per minute. So, I will try again with 100. It seems this works the best, so I will engrave the same Statue of Liberty and cut it out. In Lightburn, we can set two operations and set them out as one job. For the engraving speed, I will use 2750, and for the cutout, I will set it to 100. I should also reverse the order and let it engrave first, and then cut out. Let's do a preview, and everything seems fine, so we can send the job to the machine. As you can see, it can still cut through the board, but the edges are a little bit dark. Then, I will use the 5 watt long focus module to do some cutting, starting with a little square. As the long focus module is designed for cutting, I will use a 150 feed rate and 100% power. With a single pass, it can cut through the board and the edges are much cleaner. I will engrave the same statue and cut it out with a 3000 feed rate for engraving and 150 feed rate for cutting. I think it looks much cleaner on both the surface and the edges. Let's compare them side by side. When you look into the edges, the 5 watt long focus module is doing a better job. Next, I will use a thicker board. This solid wood board is a quarter inch thick, which is about 6.3 millimeters. I will use the 5 watt short focus to cut with a different feed rate. I will try 125, 175. The one with the 75 feed rate can cut through the board, but not the ones with the 100 and 125. As we flip it over to the bottom, you can see these two didn't cut through completely. So the fastest speed we can cut through a quarter inch solid wood board with this module is 75 millimeters per minute. For the long focus module, I will cut at 75, 100, 125, and 150. It seems we can only cut through this board at the same 75 feed rate. As this 5 watt long focus module also came with an air assist nozzle, I will install it and connect it to an 100 watt air pump. Remove the cover and install the nozzle, fix it with a set screw, reconnect the cable, and do the same test with the 75, 100, 125, and 150 feed rate. As you can see, with air assist, the edges are much cleaner than before. The only one that can cut through completely is the 75 feed rate. We can compare them side by side, and it seems the air assist nozzle is really making a difference on improving the edges. Finally, I will try to cut half inch thick solid wood, which is about 12.7 millimeters, starting with the 5 watt short module at 40 feed rate, 100 power, and 2 passes. It didn't cut through the wood. The edges are burned very dark, but it was caused by the plywood board underneath. Next, we will try with the same 40 feed rate, 100% power, and two passes with the 5 watt long focus module. It almost cuts through the wood, and we can actually slip it out easily. Finally, we will try to put the air assist nozzle on the 5 watt long focus module using the same 40 feed rate, 100% power, and two passes. As you can see, the edge is very clean with no burning at all. I would say it can cut through this half inch solid wood. If we put them together, the air assist nozzle works the best. I will use it to cut a letter from this piece of wood and see how it looks.
it cuts through the letter completely and it just drops when I pick up the wood. The result looks pretty good. I will do a final test on the air assist nozzle and use it to engrave the same photo and cut it out. This time I sped it up to 4000 millimeters per minute and 100% power. It took 13 minutes to complete the engraving. Then I cut the photo out at 150 feed rate and the edges are super clean. Let's put this piece back to compare with the other modules. It looks as good as the others, but can engrave at a faster speed. My setup on this machine is simple. I used a high power 120 millimeter fan to suck the smoke out through this ducting. For the air assist, I just use this 100 watt aquarium air pump. The total cost of all of them is just around $100. In conclusion, if I have to choose one from these three modules, I would definitely choose the 5 watt long focus module. It costs $90 more than the cheapest 1.6 watt module, but with the air assist nozzle, the cutting result is impressive. The 5 watt short focus module costs the same as the long one, and it's supposed to do a slightly better job on engraving. But according to my results, the engraving results for all three modules are pretty close. It can also do some cutting, but it's not as good as the long focus module with air assist. For the cheapest 1.6 watt module, if you don't do any thick wood cutting and mainly do engraving, like cutting some cardboard or thin wood within 2 millimeters, you can save some money with the 1.6 watt module as it works the same but just at a slower speed. I hope this review can help you decide which laser module works best for you. If you're interested in this machine, I put the link under the description. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. My brother and I make a new video every weekend, so check out my channel on Mondays and go see something new. See you next week.